Hello, this is a video about reading the analytical essay, Why Doctors Hate Their Computers. So as you can see, this is an essay that's about technology, about doctors and computers more specifically. It's a long reading, so there's a lot to look at and a lot to think about. And I just want to point out some features that exist on this website that you will be linked to that can really help you to read the essay and answer the questions about it. So first, right here you see a little button that says audio. So if you click on this, the essay can be read to you and you can um, listen to it as you move along. Um, so you can read it and then also listen to it at the same time. And that can be really helpful. If your annotation method is to print this out and then annotate, you can have it printed out and annotate and pause the video, the audio at certain points. Um, you can listen to the audio first and then read it if you would like to. So those are good features. And then also sometimes articles will have hyperlinks about the author. So remember that one of our pre-reading strategies is getting to know the author a little bit. And here we have Atul Gawande and he is um, an author of a really interesting book called Being Mortal, and he often writes about the um, medical system. So Being Mortal is about what it means to um, die and some of the end of life stuff that happens um, to us, you know, happens to all of us and to those that we love. So you can see a little bit of information. He's been writing at the New Yorker since 1998. He's written a bunch of books. His books are about healthcare. Um, he's a general, uh, he continues in his work as a general and endocrine surgeon um, in Boston. And he's a professor at Harvard. So he's got a lot of credibility and he's writing about a topic that relates to his work. So he's writing about uh, being a, uh, doctor, you know, and the, a situation with his, um, with doctors and computers. So I'm going to read a little bit with you. Um, and then you can go ahead and transition to having the audio, um, happen if that's helpful to you, or just reading it on your own and annotating it again, part of the task here, part of the goal is to sustain attention for the full article. So you do want to make sure that you carve out enough time to read it. If you're listening to it, you can see that it's an hour to listen to. Um, so plan accordingly. Okay. We can see that this. Um, analytical essay starts with an anecdote, a short story. On a Sunday afternoon in May 2015, I joined a dozen other surgeons at a downtown Boston office building to begin 16 hours of mandatory computer training. We sat in three rows, each of us parked behind a desktop computer. In one month, our daily routines would come to depend upon the mas mastery of Epic, the new medical software system on the screens in front of us. The upgrade from our home-built software would cost the hospital system where we worked, Partners Healthcare, a staggering $1.6 but it aimed to keep us technologically up to date. So some features of this introductory paragraph, we learn where the author is taking this training, and we also learn because of the title, Doctors Hating Their Computers, and then this opening paragraph, that there's going to be some kind of disconnect. So this technology costs 1.6 billion, but we can begin to think in our heads like, uh-oh, is, is that money worth it? Is he going to say that actually it's not worth it at all? You wanna start having questions. You can write those questions in the margins as you annotate, or maybe you're going to write whether you've encountered this software or newer software if you're in the medical field, um, or write a little bit about doctors using computers um, when, you go, when you go to the doctor. Okay. More than 90% of American hospitals have been computerized during the past decade, and more than half of Americans have their health information in the EPIC system. 70,000 employees of Partners Healthcare spread across 12 hospitals and hundreds of clinics in New England were going to have to adapt the new software. 
I was in the first wave of implementation, along with 18,000 other doctors, nurses, pharmacists, lab techs, administrators, and the like. So implementation just means use, using it, getting it going, getting it working. So in this, you can see that his, he moves from a narrative paragraph, a storytelling paragraph, to a paragraph that gives a lot of data. He's analyzing um, who basically the, the amount of hospitals that are using computerized systems and the number of p employees who are using those systems. And that, in fact, there's lots of different um, people in the medical field who are using them. Okay, so you're going to continue to read on your own. If you annotate it as you go, you'll have a much easier time looking, uh, answering the questions. And you're also, it might be helpful also for you to look at the questions that you're going to need to answer. And then first, you know, and then read the essay after that. Okay, so you're doing a little bit more independent work on this, but do not hesitate to reach out if you need assistance. Good luck and enjoy.